Right, as part of the new 9 to 1 GCSE LXL course, you need to learn about the course of the river. Okay, so the river is split into three sections, the upper course, the middle course and the lower course. Okay, so in the upper course, it's the closest bit to the source. Okay, so there's going to be features like interlocking spurs and waterfalls. If you don't know what they are, you can watch some of my other videos about them. Okay, and there's going to be large boulders, lots of rainfall, lots of surface runner, steeper slopes, okay, and shallow water. In the middle course, you're going to have features like oxbow lakes and meanders and tributaries. And you're going to have increased volume of water, less steep gradient, deeper channel, and a wider channel. In the lowest bit, in the lower course, it's the bit that's closest to the mouth. You're going to have rounded pebbles, fine silt, large volume of water, fastest flowing water, the widest part of the river, it's going to be the deepest part of water, and it's going to be almost flat. So there's a model to help you remember this, which is the Bradshaw model, okay? And it shows you that as you move further upstream or downstream, different uh, elements of the river change. Okay, so for example, channel depth is going to be deeper downstream. Uh, occupied channel width is going to be a larger occupied channel width downstream. It's going to have a faster velocity downstream. It's going to be more discharged downstream. And it's going to be a larger volume of loads downstream. Upstream, there's going to be a larger load particle size. There's going to be a, the bed of the channel is going to be rougher and the gradient is going to be much steeper upstream.